The Banga Tiger. The Banga Tiger. The Banga Tiger habitat. The Banga Tigers mainly live in India. Smaller groups can be found in the Nepal, Bhutan, and eventually Bangladesh. The Banga Tigers like to live in places where they can easily hide. They roam both wet and dry forests and grasslands. What about the body? The Bengal tigers weigh up to 500 pounds, 227 kilograms. They can be 6 feet, 1.8 meters long. Males are often larger than the females. Bengal tigers have the orange, white and black coats. The eyes are often yellowish in the color. Food and hunting. Bengal tigers spend their days resting in the shade. They hunt at dusk and eventually dawn. The Bengal tigers are the carnivores. The Bengal tigers are a water buffalo, hare, and much more. They are not very big eaters. The Bengal tigers hunt and live in their own territories. They are solitary animals. They only come together to have the young. The baby Bengal tigers, females give birth up to two to six years, comes at all a time. The cows are just two pounds, nine hundred seven grand the buffed. They are blind and helpless. The cubs drink their mother's milk for about two months. The cubs learn to hunt when they are around eighteen months old. They will stay with the mother for up to three years. More the more Bengal tigers, the vavets, the some Bengal tigers are born with white and black fur and blue eyes. The tails can grow up to 3 feet, jump on 9 meters long. Bengal tigers are also native to Bhutan and Bangladesh. The giant panda! The giant panda! The giant panda have beetled. The giant pandas live in the south of China. They can be found higher up in the mountains. There, the warm rain supports the loss of the plant life. These plants include large trees, bamboo groves beneath these trees, which makes up most of this pandas died. What about the body? Giant pandas are two to three feet, or see one up to 91 centimeters tall. When on all fours, they can weigh up to 200 pounds after 91 kilograms. The giant pandas are covered in white and black fur. The black fur covers their eyes and ears. It also covers the best legs and shoulders. This fur is thick and feels like the wool this keeps them warm in the cooler forest for the food a panda's molars are large and flat its jaws are very strong this helps the bear chew bamboo shoots leaves and stems the baby joint pandas joint pandas are so toy animals they come together to have their young females sometimes give up up to two cups but usually just once it arrives, the cub is very small at the birth. The cub begins to move around on its own in about 3 months. The cub will stay with its mother for up until till to 2 years. Then it is ready to be on its own. The more joint pandas eventually show they are the solitary animals. Joint pandas connect with each other. They counted by making noises and making with their territories. The giant panda is the rarest mammal in the world. There are only about 1,500 of the wildlife giant pandas. A baby giant panda will not open its eyes for its first 50 up to 60 days of their life. The grizzly bears. The grizzly bears. The grizzly bears. The grizzly bears live in the northern America. They 
live in the parts of the United States. They can be found in the Canada too. Grizzlies live in the many habitats. They live in woodlands, forests, and prairies. They like to be near rivers and streams. Grizzlies bears have the thick fur. It is almost always dark brown. Some grizzly bears can be in the light green or the black. Grizzlies like to eat the many foods. They mainly eat nuts, berries, and the other plant parts. The favorite treat is the salmon. Grizzly bears have the humps on their backs. The hump is a muscle from digging. The grizzly bears have to dig for food. They also dig with the dance. Food and sleep. Grizzly bears like to eat a lot, but they eventually eating eventually more before the winter. They have to gain lots of the weight. They do this to prepare for the hibernation. Most grizzly bears sleep through in the winter. The semi dance, that's keep them warming and safe. Baby grizzly bears, female grizzly bears have babies in the winter. Baby bears are called the cubs, cubs drink the mother's milk. Mothers don't eat all of the winter. Male grizzly bears live their stands in the March. Females and cubs wait until April or May. The cubs are stronger by all the time. The more grizzly bears find friends in the Canada and the Alaska. Grizzly bears are called the bobbers. Grizzly bears can prepare for the hibernation. They eat a lot. They can about 3 pounds. 1.4 kilograms per a day. Grizzly bears lose up to 30% of the body weight in the winter. Helping the polar bears. Helping the polar bears. Polar bears roam the colder surfaces on the earth. They live in the Arctic. The Arctic is the northernmost area on the earth. Arctic sea have the sea ice. Where polar this is where the polar bears hunt with the fair food, the sails. What about satyrs? Polar bears are considered the vulnerable. This means that they may become endangered, but especially if traits to them do not stop. Polar bears face several treats. The Arctic is very far away from the most people, but it is not safe for the pollution. Wildlife wind and ocean creates bring chemicals to parts of the Arctic, seals and all these chemicals, polar bears then stay in the chemicals when they eat the seals. This main treat to polar bears is the habitat loss. Longer, warmer seasons melt sea ice. These higher temperatures are due to climate change. Greenhouse gases in the air help keep up warm, but it's very too much all of them is making Earth to be warm. How to help? Fossil fuels are part of the problem. Everyone can do a little help, a little to help a lot. Using electricity burns fossil fuels. Turn the lights when you leave the room to helping safe. Bike or walk to places near you this says gas. Use reusable bags instead of plastic or paper. Less precious and saving trees has polar bears and the ant. The polar bear survey suggests its vulnerable hardship is 26,000. The habitat is the extraordinary sea ice. The good trees is approaching head loss and pollution. In the Arctic, the Arctic is the northernmost part on the Earth. It is made up of the land. The Arctic Ocean and the sea ice that flows on it. The weather there is freezing cold. Any animal that lives in the Arctic is stuff. Arctic fossils. Arctic fossils live throughout in the Arctic. They can be found 
roaming the tundra, dolphin live near in the coast. Arctic foxes have small bodies. Adults can weigh between 3 and 20 pounds. 27 and 9.1 kilograms. They can be 18 to 42 inches. From 6 to 107 centimeters long. The tails are big and fluffy. They can wrap the tails around themselves to keeping them warm. And all the frogs have and all the frogs have their tiny ears and a short snout. This helps keep the body heating in. For the fur grows on the bottoms of its feet. This keeps its feet from freezing to the icy ground. In the winter, the fossil's clothes are fluffy and white. In the summer months, they shed their fur underneath the coats. A thin and dark in color. Baby artifacts. Female artifacts have the babies in the end, usually from 5 up to 12 pups, are born at a time. They're very small at their birth. The pups strings and the mothers mix to and grow. They are ready to leave the dead at the two weeks old. The pups teach them to hunt. More artifacts for pets. Yellow fox can survive in the temperatures as low as 28 degrees. Feel high, feel minus 50 degrees Celsius. That's so, so cold. Other foxes love to hunt and eat rodents, birds, and fish. They will even eat the vegetables. When temperatures are really cold and food is scarce, the other fox must be smart. They follow progress and eat the best of over the food. The I mean, the I mean. In the Arctic, the Arctic is the northernmost part of the Earth. It is made up of the land, the other ocean, and the sea ice for snow. So neat. The weather there is freezing cold, and the animal that live in the Arctic is tough. The I mean, the I mean belongs to the Whistler family. Many of them call the Arctic home. In the Arctic, they live on the tundra and rock and ice. Armies are small mammals. They can grow to be only from 5 up to 12 inches, from 30 up to 30 centimeters long. The tails are no more than 5 inches, 30 centimeters long. In the winter time, their curls are thick and white. The teeth of the little tails are black. The coats keep them warm. Ermines have short claws. The claws have and light weight help them easily walking across the snow. Ermines sleep during the day. They do not most of the hunting at night. They like to eat small members like the mice. They also like to eat birds and the eggs. In the Arctic, the armies live in the underground burrows. They also live in the crevices of the rocks. Baby Armin. An Armin's home is called the den. Females have their babies in the dens. A litter is often made up to three, up to 18 kids. The kids survive and helpless at the birth. They drink the mother's milk until they are 12 weeks old. They stay with the mother for about a year. During this time, they learning how to survive. The more ermine run fits. The ermines that live in the moderate temperatures have fur that turns partly white. The ermines are quiet, sick and quick. These things make them great hunters. Because in this shape, an ermine can easily feed in the birds of its the prey. The caribou migration! The caribou migration! The caribou, the caribou are mainly found in the Alaska and the Canadian. They live in the tundra and taiga areas. The caribou are built to survive in the cold and harsh conditions. However, the greatest sense of the survival is the migration. Great group migration. Caribou migrate between summer and winter regions. They are almost always on the move. Caribou birds can travel up to 3,000 miles for 
1,800 kilometers into a year. The summer range has nutritious food. In the distance allows mothers to make rich meal. This helps the calves growing faster and stronger. The summer range also helps the has the view of potatoes and it says it is another place for raising their young. However, the summer range is harsh in the winter months. Stronger winds and very cold temperatures make it available so the car will move south between the August and the October. The caribou winter ranges have it has more food and it is not as the cold. The heart will remain there until late from the march. Back to you or to the summer home. In the early April, they will begin the journey. Not again. When they will start moving there first. In the early June, months give birth. The rest of the herd makes it back to the summer grounds by the mid-July. Soon, the migration will be begin or timing again. Western Arctic Caribou Road Migration Road from the road from the summer of the winter in the Alaska. The Capybaras. The Capybaras. The Giant Rodents. The Capybaras are the largest rodent species. The next largest rodent, rodent eats the The capybaras can weigh up to 170 pounds. The 80 kilograms, well, is they about the same as the tree beavers. The capybaras can grow just over the two feet, see the one centimeter tall. That is the same height as a standard poodle. Capybaras can grow up up to four feet, 122 centimeters long. What about the body? The caribos have covered in the brown hair. Some can be reddish or grey in colour. They have small ears and the long faces. The caribos have long, short teeth. They use the teeth for eating the grass. They especially like eating the water plants. Caribos life. Caribos spend lots of the time near and in the water. The wave it make them the good swimmers. Caribos live in the Central and the Southern American. He can get very hot, sit in the water, kiss them in cool. The caribos eventually make big noises. They will yell, bark, and chirp. They will also go and purr to communicate. Baby caribos are called pups. All five pups are born at the once. Hearts weigh up to three pounds. One before kilograms at the birth, but they will grow in fast. More caribos fun facts. The caribos usually live in rows up to 20 in the rows. A caribos nostrils, eyes, and ears are on the top of the head. A caribos is scared. It can hide in the water and stays on the top of its head or on the water to breathe. It can also watch and listen until it's safe and go back to the land. Caribos live up to 8 to 10 years in the world. Thank you for watching and the animal safari show. And back up and go back to this time in the world. All animal books into the library and back up back to at the zoo.